Hi and welcome to part 4 of my window cleaning tools reviewed. Today we're going to take a look at the T-bars and strip washers that I've been using over the last year. There's really not a whole lot I want to say about these T-bars that I've bought and used over the last year. Basically anybody who's going to buy a T-bar, you're going to want to make sure that the uh, washer sleeve that you buy is going to fit it properly. Uh, I've got uh, this small one here which I bought at Home Depot. This was the very first T-bar I ever bought back when I was doing window cleaning part time. Uh, not very good for big jobs but great for doing uh, small cut ups. The second T-bar that I bought was from Ettore. Uh, big difference here is you'll notice on the small one it's very smooth and uh, what that means is when you've got your washer sleeve on that with water uh, the water that's in the washer sleeve, that's that's the only place where it's going to be held. Whereas on a T-bar such as this one from Ettore, where you have all these grooves inside here, these are great for storing extra water. That way your applicator doesn't dry out too fast. But 90% of the time, I actually use a swivel handle T-bar such as this one from Unger. The only thing I don't like about it, of course, you can see is it's smooth. It doesn't have those wells in the T-bar for holding water. But other than that, this is the one I use 90% of the time and once you go swivel, well I'm sorry, you, you can never go back to just a plain old T-bar. That swivel action is great for getting high windows, low windows, without doing a lot of bending or extra reaching. So here we have these sleeves that I've been using over the last year. Starting from the left, we have a basic lamb's wool sleeve. This is from Unger. This is a basic uh, run-of-the-mill sleeve. It doesn't hold uh, as much water as some of the other sleeves out there on the market. And I find personally that it doesn't have enough scrubbing, dirt lifting action that you're going to want uh, when you're doing windows professionally. This particular sleeve I got uh, came with my Versa Visa from Unger when I first purchased it and, and I found the sleeve to be inadequate so I quickly replaced it with a uh, microfiber sleeve from Ettore. Speaking about microfiber sleeves, here is the microfiber sleeve from Ettore. This is my favorite general all-purpose sleeve. I use this uh, quite a bit in homes, uh, the interiors, it's great, even on commercial, uh, doing the inside. holds quite a bit of water, at the same time doesn't drip uh, that much, and it's got that microfiber dirt lifting action that you're going to want out of a, a general sleeve. I picked up this uh, sleeve from Munger about a year ago. Uh, I was doing a commercial for the first time and I found uh, some of the windows were quite junky and I wanted something to have a little extra scrubbing action. So if you take a look at the back of this, you've got this extra scrubber pad. So you've got the lamb's wool on the one side, scrubber pad on the other side. Biggest problem I found, and I found this from the very first window, is that this sleeve does not hold hardly any water at all. It's it was really quite pathetic. I was quite disappointed with this sleeve. Um, so I haven't really been using it that much over the last year so chalk this up as to a waste of money. Something that I did discover wanting a little extra scrubbing action was this Ettore porcupine sleeve. Now this basically has the same lamb's wool type construction but it also has thousands of extra bristles. This is exceptionally good uh, sleeve for exteriors when you've got hard water marks, uh, not hard ones to get off, but general ones, and uh, pollen, and that kind of thing off the window. It's good scrubbability and it's gentle on the windows. Just don't use it on uh, tinted windows. You could damage them. Uh, as far as water retention, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not as great as a microfiber sleeve and not, of course, not nearly as good as the sleeve I'm going to show you now. If water retention is what you want, if you want a sleeve that's going to hold tons and tons of water, especially for doing high windows where you want to get those windows really soaked down, especially in the hot summertime, you want to go for something like the Monsoon. This is an Unger sleeve. I bought this one um, about a month or so ago and I was really, really impressed with the amount of water that it holds. Now I also notice that it does drip quite a bit compared to the microfiber. Sure you can wring this thing out to the point that it doesn't drip, but then it kind of defeats the purpose. 
this is a great uh, you know soaker sleeve as I'd like to call it so that's it for t-bars and uh, washer sleeves pretty straightforward stuff basically you got to find uh, the right sleeve for the application that you're you know you're going to be up against most of the time whether you're doing commercial residential exteriors uh, a lot of interior work uh, you're going to want something that holds the right amount of water for you it's got the scrubability that you need and uh, you know you don't have to be like me and buy every sleeve on the market and uh, experiment and waste some money uh, hopefully uh, some of the sleeves I've shown you today will give you uh, good decision making uh, ideas on what sleeve to buy for your setup. Okay, bye for now.